Assalamualaikum Hi Okay, for this video, I will explain on theory of production and cost But in this video itself, I will focus more on the cost curve in the long run What is the difference between long run and short run? I had told you before, the difference is in the short run at least we have one fixed input or fixed cost and in the long run all the costs or all the inputs are variable okay let's go through to the cost curve in the long run okay as I uh, explained period where there are only variable factors and no fixed cost involved and for the core uh, for the curve long run total cost start from the origin because of the absence of total fixed cost and for the long run average cost curve it shows the minimum cost of producing any given output when all of the inputs are variable okay let's look at the curve in the long run the average cost curve in the long run okay long run average cost curve are derived by a series of short run average cost curve okay here y axis is the cost and x axis is the quantity or total output and for the production we have several short run average costs okay so here we have five factories as for example, if you expand your quantity, you cannot use only one. Okay, for example, in producing shoes, if you produce 500 shoes, you can still manage in the first factory, in one factory. If you increase your shoes to 1000, also can, and you will have minimum cost. But if you more than 1,000, the average cost in the short run has increased. And now, better you uh, open up the new uh, factory. So here, second factory. If you, uh, if you produce, for example, 5,000. If 5,000, if you uh, use in the first factory, the, co the average cost, the cost per unit will be higher but if you open up the new factory new plant the cost the average cost would be lower and as the firm expand and expand larger and larger you have to increase your factory cannot your your um the current factory cannot unable to uh, produce to uh, too large amount of goods and services okay and now for the minimum average cost we derive the long run average cost the tangential point of the short run average cost are joined and made up the long run average cost so if you look at here the long run average cost is a u-shape why due to law of return to scale L law of return to scale states that as the firm expand its size or scale of production its long run average cost will decrease and increase at later stage here if you look at here at the early stage as your uh, product increase the average cost will reduce okay and this stage is increasing return to scale at this level constant return to scale and at later stage when you produce more and more the average cost will increase this phase is called as decreasing return to scale okay so here we have economies of scale and this economies of scale what are the factors that contribute to economies of scale and these economies of scale 
for economies of scale, advantages and benefits of a firm as it becomes larger and larger, and this will reduce long-run average costs. Among the factors that um, contribute to the economies of scale, just like marketing economies, financial economies, labor economies, technical and managerial economies. For these economies of scale, are the problem faced by a firm as it becomes larger and larger, and this will increase long-run average costs. Among the factors are mismanagement, labor diseconomies, technical diseconomies, and so on. Okay, let's focus on one by one. For economies of scale, for labor economies, okay, for this uh, factor, as the firm becomes larger, usually firm will specialize this uh, their labor. Each labor will do their field only. For example, um, this worker, worker A, only do um, to as a cashier, for example. And if the product increase as the firm becomes larger this person will be expert in their field in doing cashier so that they will uh, they will more specialize and expert and can in, can produce in a uh, lower time okay and this will reduce average cost in the long run Average cost, cost per unit. Okay, for technical economies, bigger firm usually will use the modern technology or sophisticated machine, and this will produce in a larger amount of products. Therefore, the average cost per unit will reduce. The third one is managerial economies. A big firm will manage their management systematically. Uh, for example, this 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 level uh, for marketing department, for example, and this level for finance, and this level for um, R and D. So each department will 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 be run systematically okay therefore the average cost will reduce for financial economies financial institution usually uh, trust and uh, will give loan to the to the big firm because they trust this big firm can pay uh, the, the loan efficiently so they will be easily get the loan from financial institution therefore the average cost for the in the long run will be lower for marketing economies for example uh, the big the big uh, firm will buy raw material in box therefore they will get the lower cost and those will reduce the average cost in the long run. And for risk bearing, big firm will bear the risk and transport and storage also. Big firm will have their own storage and transport. Therefore, the average cost in the long run would be lower. For these economies of scale, as the firm becomes larger, there will some problem might happen. For example, labor this economies because of the the person do same thing for a long time for example to be a cashier at the first place they will be, be, be excited and uh, they were passionate with the job but at the end they will get bored with the job and the owner have to uh, have to give reward in terms of bonus or uh, training and those will incur extra costs therefore the average cost in the long run will 
increase. Met for management problem because too big firm. Management problem might happen in between the department. For example, marketing department will have argument with the financial department. So to to manage this, the owner, the owner of the firm should uh, restructure or uh, restructure the department and give some incentive to to solve the problem. And this will uh, will incur extra costs and average cost in the long run will increase. In terms of technical difficulties, uh, for the for the machinery in the because you produce too much production, you should have maintenance or the machine would be should be replaced. Therefore, the average cost in the long run also will increase. And in terms of scarcity of raw materials, uh, will lead to the higher price of cost, higher price of raw material, and this lead to average cost per average cost will increase in the long run and also same same to wage differential each department have wage differential and in order to 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 manage this average cost in the long run also will increase and concentration problem also would be happen in this uh, stage <coughs> okay for economies and discounts of scope Mm, economies of scope appear when an in, in, individual firm's output for two different products is higher than output reached by two different firm. Each produce a single product and these economies appear in the production of an individual firm's because the production of one product might inconsistent with the production of another product. So here, end of this chapter. And I hope you guys understand for this part and be ready for the tutorial and question for in the past, past year question. Okay, until the end. Thank you, everyone. Bye.